here on Santa Rosa Island is that late in the afternoon during the summer months as the land cools down, the fog moves in from the ocean and blankets the landscape and then moves off during the next day as the land heats up. In the olden days, before the ranching, there were shrubs here on the island and they captured the fog moisture. The shrubs would uh, stick their leaves and, and twigs up in the air and droplets of fog would condense on these leaves and twigs and drip to the ground. Um, those plants are gone now and that capacity has been lost and so instead of watering the ground during the night, the fog just blows by the island and doesn't deposit moisture here and the soils are dry. So a seed that falls on the ground is falling in a dry place. Our thrust right now then is to look at how can we harness fog to nourish plants. It's kind of a chicken and egg situation where if you don't get the fog, you don't get the plants, but you need the plants to get the fog. And so we have to jumpstart the system by figuring out how to capture fog. You know, and, and you've got sort of stages in between too. You've got that bare slope. You've got this next one that's more grass. We're also looking uh, with rain gauges that we've adapted to fog monitors to find out how much fog moisture actually drips down through the canopies of various kinds of trees and how much drips down through artificial structures that we've been putting out. So our thinking is that we can identify these places where there's pretty reliable fog. We can capture it by putting up mesh netting, um, fencing structures, cages, whatever, to allow the fog to condense and plant plants at the bases of those structures uh, and thereby have the fog water our plants for us. We will be a long ways along toward jump starting recovery out here.